And now I'm going to pl pray for all of us. I'm going to include anything that concerns you. I know some of you have relatives close to one of the fires or have property there. And it is not that we close our eyes and hearts. But we know the truth for every being, everywhere. Okay, so please join me in consciousness. Ah, in this holy moment of right now, I know the truth and the truth sets me free. I know that I am that one power, that there is only that and nothing else. There is only God and absolutely nothing else. There is only divine mind, creative principle. There's only the creative process and absolutely nothing else. All of these are names for the beloved, for the divine. And knowing it is everywhere present, knowing that it is omniscient and, omni and omniscient and omnipotent, I know that it is completely responsive to anything, any impress made upon it. And so today, I get my bloated nothingness out of the way of the divine circus and I allow, I make welcome, and I say yes to more good than I've ever imagined. I say yes to all kinds of prosperity, financial, relational, creative, every single kind of prosperity that there is, I say yes to right here, right now. What I know is that that thing itself is responding to me. I know this for myself and I know it for every other being. I speak this word of power, knowing that when I say all is well and all shall be well, it's a prophecy of good. And then I look for it. I accept it. I look for it. I welcome it. I know it. I see more good. I let go of my fears, my worries, my concerns, no matter how comforting they've been. And I replace them gently but firmly with ideas of truth, with ideas of wholeness and passion and aliveness and gratitude. God is, I am. For knowing this, I'm so very grateful. I know it for myself and I know it for every other being. It is entirely true. I'm so grateful. I simply, with that gratitude, place this word in the law of mind. God has it, it's done, and so it is. And so it is. And now it shall see then. <laughs>